Hello, welcome back. This is News File, it's your most authoritative news analysis show. <clears throat> My guest, Kweku Bako, Isaac Adongo. Um, it's Adongo, but we are used to saying Adongo. It's not Adongo, it's Adongo. Adongo. Uh, just like how many people can pronounce my name, Anyanini, right? Okay, and um, <coughs> I feel your marking. It's Adongo, Adongo. Uh, and then, Inu <laughs> Safusini. Right. Now, um, as you are aware, some 27 charges have been found on a charge sheet that is doing the rounds in the media and it is said that the case will be called on the 23rd of March <clears throat> at the High Court and it is a case in which Dr. Stephen Oponi, former boss of Coco Board, uh, Mr. Agongo and also a company which is the third accused, stand accused of having caused financial loss to the state <clears throat> over various contracts over a period of time. Let me quickly uh, begin this with Unus Afuseini. Um, he, a while ago, was going through the, the charge sheets, looking at the charges and uh, <coughs> raising some technical issues about it. Um, so you have, you have read the charge sheet um, obviously, it does look like in the coming days, Stephen Oponi, Seidu Agongo, and the uh, company Agricole have issues to answer in court as far as uh, the matters that have been raised in their concern, right? Yes. So, like I've said, <clears throat> we are in interesting times. Uh, uh, Oponi, Seidu Agongo, I don't, I don't want to mention the third accused because... I fail to see how a company can appear in person in court, but uh, because an artificial person in, in, in criminal jurisprudence, uh, where a company is capable of committing a crime, but where it commits the crime, it commits it through its alter ego, that is the persons. So that's one condition under which the veil is lifted to see those who committed and they can be held responsible. Is uh, there a precedent in this country where a company has been criminally held liable? Well, that is what uh, I'm saying. Or made to be the accused to stand in court. The, is criminal, the criminal jurisprudence has been, the frontiers of the criminal jurisprudence no, is, is being wide. That's the <laughs> question. Can you be direct with that? Well, that well, no, I don't, I'm not, I can't immediately recall. There is not. But, well, you well, want to say that, say it. Well, okay, what I ahead. said is that. All right. Uh, so, so let's see. So what, what is the wrong? What wrong has been done there technically? In the, bringing the, the company. The company as an How will the company plead? How will the company plead? The first accused person will ask guilty or not guilty. The second accused person will ask guilty or not guilty. The third comp company, how will it, the third accused person, how will it plead? Or it will, they won't take his plea. I see. So that's the basic. Mm -hmm. So, so, but interesting times. Initially, uh, and that's why we have 27 charges. <laughs> because three accused persons. And you know, Bado didn't teach you. I don't know who taught you criminal law. Badu, uh, Badu, yes. Badu, Badu, Badu. Yes. Badu. 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 yes. Badu you. you know, you have to repeat <laughs> the charges for all accused persons. So when you have three accused persons, you, are, you know, you can multiply by the number of charges and you get how many charges will appear. And you have abetment and conspiracy and those things. Then you will find that in the charge sheet, the, initially I had, let me make this uh, uh, valid a caveat. Initially I said that I won't discuss it again. Because I had discussed this matter and I heard the Attorney General say, you wait until we go to court. And then, and then I heard the GII say that, oh, we should refrain from discussing this matter on the media mm. because... The Attorney General's response was to the Kumasi, Kofi Adams' uh, yes, claim, yes, claim that this yes, was witch yes, hunting. Yes, so, so, so I was saying that, oh, so why, well, legally to this, we shouldn't be dra this, uh, discussing this matter. But the most thing is, the matter will be in court. Mm. Mm -hmm. I have my own view, strong ones. But we, are, we, have, we, are, we intend to fight corruption also. Mm -hmm. All I plead is that the personal idiosyncrasies of persons who were, put, who were put in charge of state institutions must not in any way lead us into thinking that in behaving a certain way in office, they were corrupt. We need hard evidence to be able to do that. To this appear to be, somebody appears to be the conscience of the MPP. 
in that scripture they are Japan. Oh, what's his name? Kennedy. Mm. Honorable Kennedy are Japan. He appears to be the conscience of the MPP. What do you mean? In that time, he says somebody will jailed. They will see a, a charge against that fellow. You see, so now he said that Samuel Abiyoko will be, or oh, what's his name? Mm, Abiyoko Santana. Abiyoko Santana will be jailed, and then it will, we will see a charge in court. So we don't want that. We don't want tribal media. Now, what I read, he didn't say Abiyoko Santana. He says he's a thief. He said he should be jailed. That, okay, that's the headline I saw. I, I thought he was suggesting that he should be pursued. And no, he says he's a thief. He and that he stole, a, he stole the state car. And what do you do with thieves? You prosecute them. Okay. So, right. so that's it. So, but you see, it's, it's interesting. Thompson, and I know, in, in, I'm not saying this to compromise the ability of the defense team to defend their clients. I'm just wondering, at what point does a, a, a contract become a criminal matter? At what point? The transition. And that's why the accusation of which, which can, hunting is coming in. Because this is a contract. And even if the contract failed to meet the expectation, legitimate expectation of the company, there are remedies under the contract. Now, there are motions that the supplier, the supplier had to go through. You can't supply any chemical to Cocoa Board if you don't have approvals from CREC, that is Cocoa Research Institute of Ghana. Right. Were those <laughs> approvals obtained? If they were obtained, uh, I've seen I've seen documentation that show clearly that those approvals were obtained. So how can the how can the and they were and I've seen also I've seen the certificates and mm. how can documents approval that was given by a renowned research institution, Cocoa Research Institution like Craig, by people who have worked and, and risen up to the profes professorial level, then conspire or work together to defraud the states. The year has not been charged. But clearly, if he gave approval for... You are saying that, and you said professorial. If you are saying that if a professor is in charge of the institute that, you know, examined and gave approval, approval. for these matters, then if you are uh, laying criminal charges, then, then that you are person saying that, ought to have been contemplated. But, yes, 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 because you are saying that that fellow ought not to have given that approval. And that, that, you are saying that that pro product was illegal. That's what you are saying. But someone gave the approval before the supplies were. But you could also obtain it fraudulently. Well, if you misrepresent the facts. But how do you do it fraudulently? That is, if you say that they shouldn't test it, because I think that before you give approval, you must test the mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. And so, we, and you see, again, they're saying that somebody misinformed the procurement authorities. Now, Samson, again, and now I'm saying this from my own experience as a former appointee. Every appointee has the power within the his establishment to procure but you can't procure without obtaining permission so some uh, amwa could not Stephen have amwa. Some amwa could not have procured the vehicles without obtaining uh, that would be a clear violation but if Stephen amwa puts in an application that he wants a single source or sole source the procurement of vehicles and he justifies why he wants to do that and the procurement authorities examine the reasons he has given, and they give him approval to do that. Can we, in all, in all righteousness, say that Samson has breached, I mean, Amo has breached the procurement law? Because he has no capacity to give himself approval. Are you suggesting? No, no, I'm just, are you suggesting, I'm just thinking aloud. Are you suggesting that for as long as the individuals who are, have been, are going to be put on trial, yes. can show that they procured all of these requirements. They cannot be a subject of criminal prosecution. No, you cannot. That's what, that's what I just think aloud. That's why I say we are in interesting times. I'm just thinking aloud. I, initially, I thought that they had gotten, when I saw the fraud by false pretenses, I thought that they had, and that's how it happens is, you make a representation, and then the, the, the one you make the representation to pass, uh, confess a benefit on you, and you are unable to meet. And that one becomes fraud by false pretenses. Right. So I thought that they had paid some money, Cocoa Board had paid some money to the company, mm. and the company has failed, refused, or neglected to In supply. fact, the same, the same um, product mm -hmm. had been supplied 
previous years. Three times, so three different oh, yeah. years. 15, 2015, previous years. Yes. Okay. But the product is even in the market. Mm. The product that is said has been altered is in the market and farmers are buying. But I'm not even coming there. So if, if the person made a presentation and then supplied and then was paid, that does not become false pretenses. Don't forget that one of the contracts was terminated and it's a subject of uh, no, no. So why, why how does, as we speak? I'm just talking about the technicalities mm. of fraud by false mm. pretenses. Mm. It's okay, just so, like stealing. so hold it on there. Can you can you imagine the situation? Why is it not that in the in the in the other contract, which has been terminated, the recourse is not to criminal prosecution but an arbitration because the contract provides that if there are problems, they ought to go to arbitration. Why, why, why is that? In, in, the, in the other situation, they are going for criminal prosecution. But in this one, it is an arbitration that Coco Board has submitted to and is being uh, uh, you know, arbitrated upon. Samson, for the sake of my profession, mm. I would want to respect the law. Yeah, good comment. The matter is not in uh, court yet. No, no, no. It's, it's been it's filed. It's, it's been filed. Okay. Yeah, charge yeah. it and then, yeah. and then read again read again what i've read before on this platform okay mm -hmm. the tago case mm -hmm. what justice Apple said mm -hmm. and i read i wish to re-echo a statement i made in my dissenting judgment in the case of daniel akwesi agbodapi and the republic mm -hmm. decided by this court 20th june 2008 mm -hmm. in respect of the scope or application of the principles of standard of proof in criminal cases Proof beyond reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. The principles that underline this duty and how it has to be accomplished are the same. They do not change according to the status or disposition of either the accused person or the complainant involved. Neither do they change according to the charges preferred nor the public perception, concern or reaction in respect of the offense and or the accused person in question. <coughs> What I want to imply here is that the fact that this particular case aroused national significance and again the fact that this country is becoming a drug designated country did not justify the crucifixion of our, of our criminal law by applying different principles alien to our criminal law practice. I'll end there. All I want to say is not about him coming to say that, oh, a product has been supplied, farmers are using it. No. It's not about but me saying that, that a veil should be lifted and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. My joy is that the learned attorney general has taken a step further with all the allegations, all the issues. I, she is in court. In fact, that should be the joy of my good friend, Seda Gongo. Gongo yeah. I'm a businessman. He's a businessman. I know him. I know Dr. Puni because I was a finance committee member and he was appearing before us. We had a good relationship. I think that they should be happy mm, they will have that, that this thing has left the realm of media discussions and all that, and it's in court. Okay. So, in court, get your, 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 your defense team. Get your lawyers. AG will come and prove her case. You raise your issues. I think that is what will be good for our democracy. You see, in Ghana today, Samson, my few years in mainstream politics, I realize that most of the time, those who raise issue of corruption, allegations here and there, do so on the basis of agenda, not because of a genuine purpose. My few years experience in mainstream yeah. politics. That's the conclusion I've come to. A lot of the time, it's agenda. <laughs> you see, when my learned and respected senior was... What, what do you mean by agenda? I will get there. You get, you get when, there. <laughs> when he was talking, he earlier said, oh, we need hard evidence, you know, when he was referring to this matter. I said, you know, the product on the market, there's a contract. In, you know, he was navigating carefully and said, oh, we need hard evidence. When he got to bust, when he got to bust, you see his mischief. <laughs> he said, oh, then they need to answer questions. No, 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 no. They know that they have to come up. I said, oh, really? This one is No, no, hold on. No, hold on, like hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and you saw somebody, somebody that distinguished the energy aspect, financial consultant, 
whether an economist or whatever. You see that person? That man. That man. You see? He too. Where, where, who, who? Oh, that man. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to walk on a slippery ice. You see that man? You wanted to crucify right. Alfred Obin. You wanted to crucify him. No, no, no. So all I want to say is that if we've all come to a certain conclusion, that yes, let's raise the issues. Let's act with consistency. Not because the man is an NDC. Not because the man is an MPP. If there's a genuine issue of causing financial loss to the state, like the Abu Gapele case, I was sitting to your left. Yeah. I was sitting to your left. Yeah. You said you don't know whether you should be happy or you should be sad. Yeah. Eh? You yeah. said so. Yeah. And then you made the argument, and I realized even on some, some platforms, your platform, people criticize you. Are you yeah. on it? Eh? Are you on oh, some of your friends, they were openly saying so. Uh, okay. They were criticizing yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. That you are taking a position against Abu Ghabi. Yeah. All right? Yeah. I'm not sure whether that is what has informed you to change and tilt it as if no, you no, are no, supporting. No, no, I'm not, no, no, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't mm. appear. You are not too clear this morning. Mm. But okay. <laughs> My point is that the law is a law. Samson, you, your practice in the court, you know that if somebody comes with an allegation, the famous case I, 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 I've been referring to, you say somebody has stolen. From your account, if somebody you say that oh somebody is a thief, they handcuff him or oh, that the person took the money from your account, I will be disappointed in any judge who will convict that person without any evidence of a bank statement, because you only need with all the even if the accused person confesses that yes I stole the money, I took it from his account and describes how he withdrew the money and brings you checkbooks and all that, it is not enough. The new dead court must look for a bank statement stating that on this date, $10,000 was withdrawn. It was not withdrawn by the account holder, but by the accused person. That is the only basis. Anything other than that, that conviction would not stand. Okay. I'm sure that the Deputy Attorney General, Godfrey Dami, the Leonard Attorney General herself, very experienced, my own mate, uh, uh, Penka. They know what they are about. They've done their investigation. Let them go to court. Okay. When they are there, the matter will be dealt with. It's not they, they are not going to convict them. It mm. is a court. Right. That is going to use standard well established in our criminal jurisprudence. Proof beyond so no reasonable politics. doubt. Stop the NDC. <laughs> okay, thank you. MPP thing. No, even, thank you. That is the thank you. That is the duty of the prosecution. Yes. But proof after, beyond after all the, reasonable after doubt. the accused person, mm. their duty is just to raise doubt. Doubt. Yes. And they must offer plausible explanation okay this. thank you now let's hear let's hear quick on this and uh, you know he changed his and, position and, when he came to have heard of it uh, he, uh, yeah. he kept changing <laughs> inconsistency mischief 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 when yeah, when no, when when, when, no, when mr sure. when mr dankanamwa himself was on the line mm -hmm. i felt he didn't I answer felt, my question you i see? felt i needed to protect him a bit because he was a subject of a suit yeah you know, mm. in a defamation How connected to this. So I said, uh, because so the matter is in court is, and he is involved, I should get him to, if you like, <coughs> force. But it, he didn't seem to, it looks like he wanted to talk a lot more. Sometimes <laughs> you don't know how to deal with this matter. <laughs> yes, Koku. Well, due process. It's due process. The state has charged them, of course, uh, I see the technical point that right. was raised, and mm. even though I'm not a lawyer, I'm convinced that that point is valid. But the state has charged them. Mm. And but I that point, since they are raising it now, what likely may happen is that if they take the same view, by the 23rd, they will they'll go there they'll and they'll they would have changed the, the, the And there's nothing sheet. unusual about yeah, that. Yeah. It, it happens all it, the time. It, it, it saves embarrassment they would have faced if yeah, they had yeah, 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 kept yeah, quiet yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> Even the 27 counts, mm. some can change. Okay. Yeah. They can be reduced right. or it can increase. Yeah. I, I see that it's happened before right. in our uh, jurisdiction here. Mm, mm. But it's due process. Not much to say. Uh, you know, they will have their day in court. They will have their lawyers who will be there to defend them. We have seen instances where people have been sent to court and were freed. Some were sentenced, uh, convicted and sentenced. So I think that we should uh, hold our fire. It's those who are making noise about political witch hunting. Uh, maybe they know something we do not know. <laughs> uh, Kofi Adams appears to be confident that the charges or the counts are frivolous. Mm. And that uh, Mr. Dr. Pony will come out uh, victorious. Mm. 
then he should relax. He shouldn't be too unduly worried. The two, I know Mr. Dr. Pony quite well. He's, he's, he's a nice person. I like him. Uh, the young man, uh, the young businessman. Mm. Uh, yes, he's also a very nice person. I know him. But we are not talking ni being nice. Yeah. Yeah. We are talking the law. Yeah. So I think that we should just cool up and let the courts uh, decide on this matter. You know? Mm. Yeah. That's the way I see it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, Isaac. The, the, the That's not his name. Sorry. That's not his name. Isaac is not his name. No. Okay. So I should call him. Don't run down the clock. I'm giving him. <laughs> uh, I should, oh, I should call I him. No, mischief, <laughs> mischief maker. Don't run down the clock. It's okay. Go on. Yeah. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> yes. Um, I, I was, you know, there was a little play on social media that the charges are too many. Why? 27. Mm -hmm. And then a good friend of mine and teacher, uh, Maxwell Ofokwajman, sent me something in 1974 mm -hmm. where charges of 494 counts <laughs> were pressed against certain people. Yes, go ahead. In Ghana. Yes, yeah, yeah. In yeah. Ghana. Um, um, interesting. I mean, uh, this is a legal matter. Right. Uh, it was a military tribunal. You know. Oh, okay. uh, and, uh, oh. Uh, to be honest with you, my biggest worry in all of this is it's not the fact that the accused will not have their day in court. Obviously, they will. Mm. My issue is the way, even before this issue came up, Daily Guide was already reporting snippets of it. Mm. And the moment this process was filed, it was all over social media. What is the intent? What is the intent? So clearly, these people are already, the trial in the public opinion has already started. But that's what we've been doing all these years. Has already started. And, and I feel very wrong. In fact, on one of MPP platforms, somebody said, 27, <laughs> <laughs> you know? So you are on an MPP platform. <laughs> 27, <laughs> he's infiltrated. So you are on an MPP platform. So oh, I, see. I get worried. You see, <laughs> and, and, and when you listen to the technical issue that has, not, that has just been raised, I mean, we have people who have worked so hard to build their business. Mm. We mustn't be seen as a country. Nobody takes the, uh, the uh, what do you call your power away from you to prosecute or not to prosecute. But we must make sure that we are not seen to be pursuing an agenda that destroys private business. Mm. And I feel very sad that we've already started trying some businesses. Who would have known the, the company that uh, said that woman is dealing with? But mm -hmm. it is now one of the accused there. Right. And I know uh, from uh, uh, Cocoa Health and Extension Division, strongly recommends this product to our farmers. Mm. Their own field research, it is here. Uh, if you want me to read, I can tell you that. You don't know what is in there. Let me tell you. Please, let me tell this. you. I, I'm making a point. I am saying that we should not be seen to be allowing processes that, that destroy public no. private business. That is my point. That's a principle. Yes, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm making that point because... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, exactly. So, mm -hmm. uh, and we've seen... But, but, but about... Let's, no, no, let me no, make... No, let me no, make... No, let me make... But about the point. company that has been uh, attached as a third accused. Um, a good friend of mine, <laughs> once again, uh, thank you very much, uh, Martin. He says that maybe we should look at Section 67 of yeah. Act 30, mm -hmm. Section 57, uh, 67 of mm -hmm. Act 30, mm -hmm. and we may find that it is possible to have a company uh, named as an accused in a, in a case. Okay, so right. look at it. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the point I want to make is that, yes, they will have their, their, their day in court if they are convinced that they have not done anything wrong. But my point is the sanctity of contracts. And you ask a very valid question. There are remedies in contracts that we sign. To what extent do we exhaust those processes? Okay. To what extent do we make... And, and I feel very worried because only recently, Afeo was on the floor defending the establishment of the public prosecutor. No, please. The I private, I was, when they were, I was not there. But you have worked on that bill. Yeah, you no, have, put it right. And you have a position on no, it. No, 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 no. Please, put it right. Okay, you, you are, are not there. Me. You are not there, but you are, you, you are a firm believer. Mm. No, of, we all did a lot yeah, together. You are a firm believer of us handing over prosecutorial duties to, that, to the public prosecution. No, doing Today, we are running parallel systems. 
Mati Amidu is sitting there and Attorney General is in court doing Mati Amidu's work. Why waste taxpayers' money? No, no, come no, on, no. come on. That is exactly what is happening. No, 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 no listen. The Prosecutors Act exclude it's the what? Attorney General from doing any prosecution. So it doesn't. So what is the okay. sense? And we had said no, that. We had said that. You, no, we said that you don't need public, uh, that, that prosecutor but you for to it. do it. And now we are doing it without um, him. No, we've okay. Clearly, we are wasting taxpayers' money okay. by we putting voted, that office up. Mm. We, 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 we resisted this thing. Oh, okay. you voted. Everybody oh, voted. Um, there was no dissenting Masa. vote. Mm. Basa. There was no dissenting you. vote. You. Yes, yes. You. Yes. Go ahead. You. Yes, go ahead. I'm listening. Do that like what is happening. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> that the Attorney General is roaming there. Martin Amiri is also roaming in the same court. This is a serious on this, on different matters. This no, I'm asking you. Okay. This is Thank you. We are wasting taxpayers. Thank you. We, we, Why <laughs> go and give this case to Martin Amiri? You mm. voted in fact, for they it. Should, they should transfer this case to Martin Amiri to do you, his work. Why did you vote Attorney for General, it? tomorrow, Monday, just transfer this case to, mm. to Martin Amiri. <laughs> okay. And wash your hands of it. Mm. Because that is what we have agreed as a country to pursue. I wonder why you voted We don't want this double it. standard behavior. They should just hand over this case to Martin Amiri to pursue it. Hand over the docket. Thank you. Now, now, <laughs> Peku, Peku, yeah. I, I start with you a couple of seconds. If we can get all of you to say something about the, uh, because we can't close without that, mm. the eviction number one, not the Goldfields one. Um, it had become an issue. Some say it shouldn't have become an issue. W where do you stand that those who live, who live, who live by the, who live by the <laughs> president's <laughs> residence are now, you know, security issue? The national security apparatus has done an, a security evaluation of the environment within which the president lives in terms of his private residence. He lives both ways, mm. at Flaster House <clears throat> and at his house. What's wrong with that? Uh, my concern was the kind of packaging you are doing for the people you are evicting. That's what my concern is. The very moment Akufuado became president of this land, a new security dynamic occurred in this area, whether we like it or not. But people are out there playing on the keyboards of people's emotions. They are pushing more emotions in there. And you see, it, it affects the situation. So I said the state should focus on the process of relocation, the compensation particularly, so that you don't take anybody out of his life. Okay. That's all. <coughs> Otherwise, <coughs> national security consideration is non-negotiable mm. relative to the president's security. Well, what do you I, say about I that? think that I agree to that extent that national security consideration is non-negotiable. But do we need to come here? We don't need to come to that position. You see, our state, Ghana, decided to invest about $100 million in building a state house. In addition to Peduasi, and to the castle. Castle has been declared a presidential museum. Mm. Kufo took the decision because he said famously that castle is uninhabitable. It's not fit for human habitation. So why do we duplicate ex expenditure? Ah. We, we, are, we are doing that precisely because the president has elected not to be at the Black Star. He's there. Uh, why? So why should, if the president is there, why are we doing but, what we're doing? But you can't barricade him there. Why, why are we doing he what we're doing? Go they, 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 that is why we, you see, it's security consideration. And that's why we build presidential palaces. But everywhere, president didn't live there. everywhere, there are security considerations why for the president. Why didn't President Mills live in the presidential uh, palace? It was a matter of choice. And so we're doing double so expenditure still. No, he was, he was living at the castle. castle. He was in his house. His house would put a okay. security structure. So what, what um, I'm saying is that the so state spent money fine. there. So time, what I'm saying is that what I'm saying is that we now out. have I'm an sorry. opportunty. We should just stop uh, this. I'm thing. sorry. We should have an opportunity mm. to get the to pass a law. I'm of the view you that we pass a law. You currently okay. the president. Our president. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, another friend, Cedro Cedro Leonard, says that we should look at section section one. Uh, three nine of the Companies Act, mm -hmm. we may find how a company may no, be sued. Are, no, but but the question that, is, no, question for how me. is I the company to going to answer? answer? That's your question. Yes. Okay. Well, My guest on this show this morning have been Abdul Malik Kubaku, editor in chief of the New Crusading Guide newspaper, Inus Afuseni, MP, ranking member, legal, constitutional, and parliamentary affairs, Alexander Kwamina Afenyo Marking, MP, member. Public Accounts, Defense, and Interior Committees of Parliament, and Isaac Adongo, MP. Member Finance Committee of Parliament, I'm Samson Ladi Anyanini. And thank you very much. Uh, this uh, morning I'm not in a Latida, but I am in a countdown.
to the president to have the right to information law passed. Thank you.